What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Glenn Lawrence, and we are back with another one. So today, we're going to talk about Little Nas X, all right? Those Nas X video just released, and it's like been the most talked about controversial video for the past couple weeks. We've seen some images of him be leaked where he appears to be um, resembling Jesus. You know, he's in the robe. He just, the imagery, the whole style, he's just trying to portray Jesus. The one that I saw first was him, like a video of him messing around with the communion. Like he was eating and, and drinking the communion, little wafers and the glasses as if it was a mockery. And then the other one I saw was him on a cross um, being pulled up by a bunch of girls. And then today I saw the music video because it's after midnight and I finally saw the music video. And I don't know how he says it's not mockery, but let me let me pull up some of the what he's said so far in um, public statements about this video. And I'll give you my opinion afterwards. So here we go. Um, Little Nas has shut down criticism over the cover art of his latest single, J. Christ, which seems which sees him lying on the lying outstretched on a cross. The 24-year-old rapper and singer posted the cover art for his forthcoming album on social media Monday, the 8th of January, with the caption, My new single is dedicated to the man who had the greatest comeback of all time. In the picture, the industry baby artist can be seen lying naked, only covered by lime green fabric on the cross that's being lifted by five other people. The crazy thing is, nowhere in this picture is a mockery of Jesus. Lil Nas X, real name, Montero Lamar Hill, tweeted an hour after the revealing. Jesus' image used throughout history in people's art all over the world. I'm not making fun of sh y'all gotta stop trying to gatekeep a religion that's been here, that was here before any of us were even born. Shut the fuck up. All right. <clears throat> going from that so let me just be honest with you guys um that was blasphemy i'm sorry the music video was blasphemy he's walking around being gay he's first first thing you see he's supposed to be in heaven he's very femininely dressed um he has acrylic nails you know long ass nails um he's just being very feminine um and this is nothing new for him nothing new for him a couple years ago I was asked to be a part of a music video that actually was for Lil Nas X. Now, this music video, he was getting like, I guess, gang banged or gang raped in the, um, in the um, prison. And because I have a lot of tattoos, I typically get casted for, you know, criminal roles. And I know the casting director, Sarah, she hit me up and asked me if I wanted to be a part of it. Once I got all the details of it, because I don't even know who he was at the time. Once I got all the details, I said, no, there's no way in hell I could even be a part of anything like that. One, I don't I do not do anything gay. I won't be a part of any gay roles, you know, um, nothing like that. And just for the fact that th they suggested that this was going on, I didn't want to be attached to a project that, that had any of that in it whatsoever. So I didn't end up doing it. Um, and then I heard about it. I didn't I end up hearing about it from other friends that were part of the project. And yeah, I yeah, it was that's horrible from what I what I heard. So we already know that this guy is already very flamboyant, very gay. He was doing that all throughout the music video. Um, so then you see him walking around, like I said, you see him walking around in heaven gay. And then the next thing you see really is that he ends up cross-dressing, he ends up becoming a cheerleader at one point. Um, he ends up playing basketball against Satan at one point. And then we go to seeing him on the cross. And although it was just a quick glimpse, it's still pretty horrible. But he's not only just playing Jesus. He ends up playing a version of Noah um, with the ark. Um, you know, it, th there's just a lot of imagery there. And honestly, it, it was very much a mockery. I know he says that he wasn't mocking him, but he wasn't not mocking him. He was very much mocking him. Um, it was just really, no, no. But you guys don't understand, this is not the first time that rap music, somebody in the rap game has decided to depict Jesus. And it's funny because Little Nas X, I think, got his name after the original Nas, Nas, Nazir Jones, um, the guy that sang Uchiwali, um, Ether, um, Hope You Got Yourself a Gun, 
uh, what else? I mean, Godson. I mean, this guy, one of my favorite rappers, Nas, one of the most greatest lyricists of all times. Back in 99, he did the same thing. He depicted Jesus as well on the cross. Now, there was some controversy, definitely, that came from that. Um, actually, it wasn't as bad as little Nas X controversy though see mainly the controversy came between uh nas and diddy who was known as puff daddy at the time um so when they asked nas about the incident and the inspiration for the music video nas explains there's a play in new york where a black man played jesus and caught a lot of flack i think even the mayor at the time giuliani was against it so my thing was i wanted to be crucified like christ in the video to get back at those people that don't want to see a black man doing his thing. Me and Puff got hammered to the cross. But after Puff expressed his religious beliefs and spoke to his pastor, he wasn't ready to take that stance. So really, it was my idea anyways. So we took his part out. For some reason, I think Steve Stout let it fly with Puffy being crucified to the cross. So there was that fight at the office where Puff jumped on Steve and some shit like that. Both of them were my friends, so I squashed it, the whole thing, and it's all in the past. Just growing pains, we're all growing up. That brings back a lot of memories. Even though I threw it on stage, I still it still kills. So do I think there's a difference between Nas's video, Take Me Now, and Lil Nas's ex's video, Jay Christ? Yes, there is a difference, but they're both wrong. All right, so here's why. Um, Nas, when he was doing Hate Me Now in 99, it was more of a political stance, okay? There was the situation that was going on, and he wanted to make a stance and bring that, bring, bring that awareness, okay? Little Nas X is not making a stance. He's making a mockery, all right? He, he had no problem doing the Satan stripper lap dance boy or whatever um he had no problem playing the role of the scene in that music video that i mentioned earlier and now this is just the next thing we have if you noticed if anything he has no problem pushing the envelope and um really just making a scene out of things and that's what he did in each one of these music videos do i think he meant to do it yes do i think he meant to blast him Yes. Do I think he cares? No. And and we shouldn't expect him to. Um, I would love to think that I'm wrong in this. And, and, you know, hopefully I am. And hopefully he does, you know, come to the Lord and he does repent. But what it's sad is, is that this is what we see out there. But should we expect anything different? No. We shouldn't. We live in a fallen world. We live in a world, and especially a nation that, let's face it, the nation has rejected God. The people have rejected God, and and you know that that's that's reality of things. So what do we do about it? We don't bring attention to it. Stop talking about it. I know there's going to be tons of reaction videos, and I am just one of many. Um, and you know I don't think we should give it any more acknowledgement, no more oxygen after this. Because you know what, what we're doing and what basically I'm doing, and I didn't even realize it until just now thinking about it, just by talking about it and bringing your awareness to it, that's either going to motivate you to go watch it and see for yourself, which just adds more views to his already high view count. If we don't want to promote this or we don't want to uh, support this, then we just don't watch it. That's what we should do. And honestly, that's probably what I should have done. I probably shouldn't even done. I should have probably even made this video, honestly. I bet here I am making this video. So, you know what? We could just end with this. You know, Lil Nas X is going to have to answer for the things that he does on his search, just like I am, just like you are. And then, you know, I just don't want to be one that has to answer for blasphemy, either the Holy Spirit or Christ or God. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that guy. And unfortunately, it looks like Little Nas X is that guy right now. And I do hope that he can repent. I do hope that he changes his ways. I do hope that he stops believing the lie that he believes and lets him think that it's okay to be effeminate. 
Because the Bible is really clear. The infeminine man does not inherit the kingdom of God. And unfortunately, that boy is very effeminate. So until next time, you guys, peace.